In this video, we're going to find the p-value of a right-tailed t-test using StatCrunch. So by a right-tailed test, we mean a test where we have a greater than sign. So we're going to focus on problem number seven. It says, suppose that in a right-tailed hypothesis test, uh, the test statistic is 2.45 and n is 16. Compute the p-value using StatCrunch. So all you do is you go to Stat, Calculators, and then you go down to where it says t. And here in this box that says DF, you're looking for the degrees of freedom. So you just take your sample size, which is 16, and subtract 1. So 16 minus 1 is 15. Because it's a right-tailed test, you want to change this to greater than. And then in this first box here, you want to enter your test statistic. So our test statistic was 2.45. 2.45. Then you click Compute, and there is the p-value. Let me do it one more time. So you go to Stat, Calculators, and then you go to T. You left-click, and then where it says DF, you just take your N, which is your sample size, and you subtract 1. So our N was 16, so we subtract 1, so we get 15. It's a right-tailed test, so we change this to greater than. And in this box here where there's a zero, we want to put the test statistic of 2.45. Then you click Compute, and there it is. There's the p-value. I hope that made sense.